Hello everybody and welcome to another episode. Um, this one is going to be my um, secondhand store haul. Uh, ours, the one I went to was Value Village. I don't know where else in the world it, it exists. Um, but I went to Value Village and I just wanted to show you what I got. Now this is the a chair I got. Don't look at the clutter in this. This is my office slash craft room. So it is messy. It will be messy. It will never, ever be clean and neat. Um, it is organized. Um, I can find what I need. Um, but it will never be clean and neat. Anyways, moving on. So that's the chair I got. And there is the back of the chair. And if you look at the price sticker, $9.99. Granted, the black and red is not my color. But if you look up here, see how the paint is peeling off? Well, if I'm not mistaken, that's because the finish is still on the chair the chair was originally a natural wood and it had a finish on it and whoever painted this did not get rid of the finish also my understanding is if you don't get rid of the finish you have to use chalk paint now i don't use chalk paint so i do not know i'm just saying from what i've learned from um videos that I've watched a lot of people will use chalk paint because it will adhere to I guess anything maybe but they did not sand the varnish and they used chalk paint and then they used their top coat and it worked fine so I figure if I sand this all down, get rid of the finish on the chair, or maybe even leave the chair with the natural wood with a finish. I don't know. I haven't, you know, it depends on what it looks like once I get down there. Um, or I may just sand it, get rid of the finish, and just paint the chair my colors. Right? Uh, maybe blue and white, black and white. Maybe I'll put some floral, like, down on the seat there. See how there's three strips of wood? Well, I could put some floral pattern on it. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But for $10, I don't have a chair in my room, in my bedroom, to put things on. Like, when I do laundry, I need somewhere to put my laundry basket um, while I sort out the laundry. Um, if I wear, um, I don't know, I go to... Uh, I'll go for a walk and I'm wearing a dress. Well, I can re-wear that dress. I'll drape it over the back of the chair. Like, I don't have anywhere to put clothes that I can wear a second time or somewhere to put my laundry basket, which I end up putting on my bed, um, which is fine right now, but it would be nice to have a chair. Um, also, I have a, a six pillows on my bed, so when I go to bed at night, five of them have to be removed be nice to just stack them on the chair. And then in the morning, I just stack them back on the bed. Right? Everybody has a chair in their bedroom. So, yeah, I thought I liked the way it looks. I like the style. Very basic, simple. $10. Can't go wrong. Right? All right. I'm going to pause you now so I can take that out of here. Because there's, I'm in like three feet by three feet. The tripod legs are in my way to move anywhere. So I'm going to pause you. I'm going to put the chair back in my bedroom and then we'll come back and we'll continue this um, secondhand store, thrift store haul. All right. Hold on. Okay. And we're back. And here's some more things. Now, both on the previous Dollarama haul and on this haul, I am not showing you the things that are, I'm going to say, as a personal nature. Because um, the grandkids' birthdays are coming up, and the boyfriend's birthday's coming up, and 
as of the end of July, when the twins and I have our birthday, there is a whole bunch of birthdays coming up after that. We start it all the way till Christmas. So whatever I bought, whether it be birthday gift, birthday card, um, anything that is going to be passed on to somebody as a gift, I am not going to be showing um, just because I don't want them to know beforehand what I got them. All right, so this is the continuation of the haul. I found this. Oh, and I'm not using my arm here because I am not happy with it. Actually, now that I have you on the tripod, I can actually show you oh, what it looks like. It's one of these tripods. And the reason why I don't like it is it only goes this way and that way. Down here, it does, you know, other directions. But this is not tightening, this part here. It just keeps going and going and going, and it's not tightening. So then by the weight of the phone, it sometimes goes like that. Plus, up there, it doesn't lock in. See, if I pull it, well, see? So, if I bend it this way and that too many times, it comes out. And then, if I want to put it this way, it just falls. See? I put it up. And it just falls. It's that mechanism up there that's broken. Or it's just not well made. I don't know. But anyway, so... I only use it for when I'm sitting at my desk. And, um... Yeah, other than that, I did return the other one. Because I didn't like it either. Um, see, this piece... Oh, I moved you back. Hold on. See, this piece here, I put my phone on this. Now, I have the camera facing this way. So, the the screen on my phone is on this side. Well, this rectangular part covers part of the screen. So, I can't see underneath it. And I need to because when I'm doing my, my desk... I'm on the back side of it because I'm recording what I'm doing, like with my hands. And so, um, yeah, it's just, and then there was a couple of times I recorded with it slightly angled like this and it ended up recording it, uh, portrait instead of landscape. So... Yeah, I'm really not happy with that thing. But until I can find something that I like to replace it, there is another one on my wish list I might order. Um, try it again with another one. Um, and the tripod, obviously. There's no room for me with a tripod, so that doesn't work. Anyways, another one of my issues. Anyway, so I found this. It was $5.99. Uh, story of magic. I figure there's nothing really dangerous in here, but look at all the photos Like there's a lot of black and white photos in here There's advertisement These pages are starting to go yellow Like I just thought this would be a nice book, considering I don't have book pages. Now I got book pages. Robert Houdini, favorite portrait. First illustration of his stage. And they do have not only pictures. Oh yeah, here's one of his contraptions, how, how he... Uh, oh, I can learn some, some secrets of the magic world. Ooh, didn't even think of that. But yeah, there's some uh, advertisement in here too. 
So that's why I liked it. Oh, we passed some more. Anyways, there are a few in here. I'll probably just cut them out after I read the book. I think I'm going to read this book. I didn't even think about it. The secrets. You can find out the secrets instead of just the history. Well, history will tell you secrets too, right? All right, so this one is a, a history of technology. Now, this one was also pretty cool. Like, you have all kinds of graphs of how things are built and how they 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 made it and everything and then of course there's book pages bicycles those are fun to cut out like there's so much in here that can be cut out and used a boat they had an airplane one but it just had way too many pictures barely any writing at least here i've got some book pages too So yeah, there's some nice black and white pictures in this one. So I thought this would be a good one. And again, it was $5.99. So $6. And look how many pages you get out of it. And then this one was cute. The Naughty 90s. And look, there's like advertisements. Eighteen ninety, not nineteen nineties. Eighteen ninety to nineteen hundred. And look, there's like advertisement too. There's a family picture. Now, if I wanted to, I could scan this, save it on a file, and then just shrink it down and make it into an ephemera card. Cycling here, wages of sin, endorsed by the clergy. Oh my. Toronto Opera House. And then here's another one. Dry Goods Grocery. Main Street. This is uh, Toronto. I believe this is all about Toronto. So, and then look at it. Wealthy Montreal manufacturer and alderman in the 90s. 1890s, that is. So, yeah. And there's another portrait. Like, there's a lot in here. And I might not get as many book pages, but there's a, a lot of... Oh, my, isn't that sweet? When Grandma was a baby. Look at that. And that. So cute. Anyways, so I thought that one was worth it. And here again, it says 1890 to 1900. And then this one says... 1920 to 1930 and this is the same book just a different one in the series look at that the can can girls imported from london paris and new york in vancouver and again advertisements And I guess this is silent movies. Rain, rain, go away. That's the silent movie era. And there, a new car, four cylinder. That would be a nice picture. Eh? Oh, I'm definitely going to be photocopying that one. School days. Like, there's all kinds of things. Calgary Exhibition, 1920, or 1921, I mean. That's like 102 years old, that poster. Sports Heroes, Artist's Life, like, there's so much here I could use. Okay, anyways, then I got this, $4.99. Oh, those books, also $5.99, but that's okay. They're worth it. Anyway, so, and then I got this box so I could put things in it. And I, when I got these books, I thought, uh-huh, we can put these books in here. And then whenever I need a book page, 
or I want to cut out some photos. There we go. Too bad there wasn't the handle. I guess I could drill a hole and then put like a wire or something so that I can lift it. But yeah, so that was some of the things I got. This we're going to leave for last because we both need to explore that. Um, this. There was a whole bunch of these stamps hanging up on the wall. I'm just putting them in order. $2.99, $4.99, $7.99, and $9.99. Okay, so these are damaged. But you know what? They can be cleaned. There is a way to clean them. So even though they're damaged, $2.99. And I have the Star and Moon. I have a flower. Uh, another flower. And I have a Merry Christmas. Now, all the prices that are labeled, including those books, the chair, all of that, I get a 20% discount. Um, I'm a member plus I believe I'm, I'm considered a senior in their store. Some places it starts at 55, some places starts at 60, some 65. Well, I'm 61. So I probably, because of that, got a discount. Plus I had a coupon for a discount. And I think there's a certain day of the month or of the week that's senior day. So with Value Village, I do get 20% off and we're donating stuff to them all the time because I'm downsizing. So take 20% off that. It's like what, $1.39? Something like that. So $1.39 and I'm going to see if I can get them clean. It's worth it. And then this one was also $2.99. There's two rolls of clear tape. There is a notebook thing. Oh, let's open it up. I'm home now. Let's open it up. Oh, there's two of them. So I don't know what this is. It looks like it's just sticky notes. Well, that'd be nice on the top of a, of a card. Right? Or I could put it on the bottom. And because the glue is on the bottom, you could tuck a card behind it or something. And then there's a whole bunch of these. It looks like they're all the big one. Yeah, looks like they're all the big ones. But that's okay. When I make a journal, you know what I mean? When I'm binding it, I could use this as a binder clip. And again, this was $2.99 with the discount, $2.39. Well, the scotch tape and these sticky notes alone would be probably like six seven dollars so that's well worth it we won't even get into how expensive clips are and this is a 4.99 so 20 percent would be what 3.99 we got happy anniversary congrats happy birthday for you a little bit of thanks for a whole lot of nice oh that's nice what is this scrapbooking kaiser what is that Okay, let's open it up. Ooh. I'm just curious what this is. Oh, look at that. There's flowers. 50 pack. Oh my God, 50 pack. It was opened, but still, oh my, I could. So this alone is worth, what, what did I say it was? Take off at $3.99. Well, no, dollar store. Yeah, mm debatable but that oh my god i'm so gonna use that and then here's all the stamps there's thank you and none of these are damaged they're all still good none of them are damaged get well happy anniversary get uh, well wishes happy birthday congrats for you Oh my, that one is so worth it. Oh, I'm so excited about this though. Oh. And that is what I was looking for. I was actually thinking 
with this thing of taking the flowers off and then doing like a stickler or something, the liquid pearls, because I need petals for my journaling. Well, this one would work so much better. It's smaller and it doesn't have a center. Like this is so much better. I do still want to get one of these, but smaller. Like the size of the flower petals are really big. I don't know how to show you with my hand. Okay, so the petal goes from here up to here. So that's like this. Okay, so up to here. So that's a pretty big flower petal. So this is nice, but maybe I could get something in between the two. It would, would be nice too. wonder if my daughter still has some. I'll have to ask her tomorrow. It's my grandson's birthday party tomorrow, so we'll be going for his birthday. So, anyway, so this one's $7.99, 20% would be $1.60. It's off, be $6.20. And let's see what we get with this one. $6.20. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is like a snowflake. Perfect condition. Oh, this is like a camera. This way, okay. This is like a camera. Perfect condition. What is this one? Oh, this is a birthday candle. Perfect condition. And this one is a star. Perfect condition. Oh, this is like a party thing again. Right? It's a party thing. Streamer and um, sparkles. Perfect condition. And then, oh, look at this. Tis the season. So I could do Merry Christmas and then this, tis the season. No, it would have to go this way because it's the writing. And look, no damages. So nice. Okay, another one. Good to go. Just that one pack that I have to clean. Okay, this one is $9.99. So, take off 20% is $2. So, it'll be $8 for this pack. Alright, so, this one is the poinsettia. No. This is a poinsettia? Is that what? No. Poinsettia is the flower. What's the one with the holly? That's a holly. Oh, Words escape me sometimes. Perfect condition. And then this one's a thank you with a flower and it's like a tag. Perfect condition. And then this is joy. Perfect condition. This one's a flower which you could use all year long. Or a leaf, sorry. This is the one that got my attention in that pack. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought a $10 pack. But that's what got my attention. And look, there's nothing wrong with it. This stamp is just blue. But there's nothing wrong with it. The fleur-de-lis with the writing. Oh my, I love this one. That's what got my attention for that one. So that's done. And then... For the journaling, I also got these. Oh, this one I didn't want to show. Because that's going to be uh, possibly a present. So these were all $1.99. And the only reason why I got it, like this guy's cute. I might put him on some dangles on a journal. But I bought it for the beads. And this one, too, I bought for the beads. Because Scott's sister gave me a window, a, a thing that you could hang in the window, which I want to make it bigger and more extravagant. And I need blue beads. I have some sparkly blue beads, but not that many. Here, I'm going to have so many different size ones. And these were each $2. So take off 20%. That's what, 40 cents? So $1.50 each. 
you can't even buy beads for that price like go into a bead store and then i also got this for 4.49 i think oh i don't it's like 350 oh, i thought this was really really pretty has these little stop stoppers so you don't scratch the table that one i have to move it over and i thought this would be nice for all my paint brushes the, the ones that are clean that can be used if they're clean and dry i could put them in here because i have so many and then i could put it on my desk somewhere and this plate oh my look look at her isn't she absolutely adorable i am not one to buy decorative plates but this one i just could not resist I have one on my wall in the dining room that I'm not too crazy about. I'm going to replace it with this one. And she reminds me of my mom because she has the deep blue eyes like my mom. And her hair is a, a light brown. My mom's was a golden blonde with the blue eyes. And the same cute smile. I still remember that picture. She does, I don't have the picture. She must have got rid of it or something. I don't know. But it is such a beautiful picture. And, uh, oh, that's from the sticker. The price sticker was there. Um, I just got to clean it, and then I'm going to put it up on the wall. Isn't it adorable? In the bed of flowers with a bunny. Look at the cute little bunny. This this one is priceless. Like, I just could not refuse. I could even put it in my bedroom over my bed. Just looking at it, it brings me such joy. So beautiful. Okay, and now for the... Oh, yeah, there's all my clutter and all my supplies and my junk and, you know. All right, now for the pièce de résistance. Now, it looks really tattered on the outside but i'm okay with that this feels like there's glue on it and there's some paint on it and it has a nice handle it has these clasps check it out like oh my god oops i have to loosen it now these are all colored pencils and these are all the paints so let's check this out uh oil color uh-oh uh-oh does that mean these are oil paints oh these are oil and these are water oh look at that this is water these are acrylic okay there's a a white that's empty but there are some that are still pretty full. So water, acrylic, and oil. They're all deep blue. Isn't that cool? So I guess this is like a starter kit. When you don't know what your thing is, you can play around with it and learn. And these were in here. I don't know what this is for. And then there's a cap. All right, now, if I'm not mistaken, there is a hinge here. So I believe it could... Oh, it does! Look at that! Oh, you got oil pastels in here. Eraser, sharpener, pencils. Let's see what the number on the pencil is. Oh, someone's hair is in here. Uh, lady, when you donated, you forgot to remove your hair. So that's an HB, that's a 2B. Yeah, there's all these oil pastel crayons. Oh my. And then on this side, let's see what it reveals. Whoop. Oh, this side has the markers. And that's what the green marker was. Well, I guess the green is not going to be working anymore. 
it was missing its marker, its uh, cover. But isn't that beautiful? And I figured this could probably come out. Okay, well, maybe not now. It's glued down. These are all glued down. Yeah. But if you think of it, you could remove these trays. Remove the glue. And, um, just put them loose inside because I'm never going to use oil. Acrylic and water I use. Oil I will never use. And then these colored pencils. Maybe I can get a tray for this. Put all the pencils and the markers. Like these markers, I'll, I'll probably, who knows, they're probably all dried out. But I'm just thinking this is such a beautiful case. I could keep all my paints and everything in here. And then you can get those cases that has like an easel. You open it up and, and it pops up an easel or it is an easel. And then you can do... Um, you know, one has your paints and all your supplies. The other one has your easel and you can go to briefcase and just go and start painting and drawing. And this is so beautiful. And I figured I would sand it. It's like, look at this side. This side's pretty good. All the sides are good. <coughs> it's just the top. So I could give this a light sanding. This is probably acrylic, hopefully, or water. So this could be wa washed, like, like cleaned up. It's just this glue part. $30, so take off 20%. So let's say 30 times 2 is $6. So it was $24. And you get all the supplies in it. You get a beautiful briefcase. And it opens up into tiers. Oh, I forgot to put this back in. I have no idea what this is for. But that's okay. And there you go. That was my Value Village haul. Other than a few things I don't want to show. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll probably go to Value Village again. There's also a bookstore downtown I'd like to go to. It's a secondhand bookstore. I could probably find some nice stuff there too. Um, hopefully the pricing is the same, $5.99 for a big book. Uh, there were some books there for $4.99 and $3.99. There was some for $7.99. It all depends on the book. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... Remember, do what makes you happy and everything else will fall into place. And please remember to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I would love to hear from you. All right, I will end this video and I will see you on the next one. Take care. See you soon.